they told us that she needed to be intubated and that she would not be able to continue breathing the way she was breathing. She was going to grow weak and could not keep going at that, at that rate. Lynn was born full term. She was healthy. She became pretty ill at about a year and a half old. It was a normal childhood illness, or so we thought. Fevers really started to escalate to the point where we couldn't control them anymore. She couldn't hold anything down, so at that point we decided to take her to the hospital. They discovered that her airway was severely infected, and they told us that they thought Braylon had a bacterial tracheitis. Not only did she have bacterial tracheitis, but she had what's called MRSA, MRSA. It's a methicillin resistant form, so it's really hard to treat. There's only a few medications out there that can fight an infection like that. At one point, the right lung collapsed and they had to do some life-saving measures to reinflate that in the middle of the night. The scarring impacted her airway very bad and it was thought to be going below the trach and she needed more support. So at that point, they decided that we should be life flighted to the Children's Hospital here at the University of Iowa. When she first got here, she actually coded in the PICU. I remember alarms going off and just dozens of people come running. She quit breathing and they had to do compressions and, and they brought her back. And it was the scariest moment of my life. As soon as she came back, she just looked up at everyone and thought that everybody was there to <laughs> just be there with her and be there for fun. And she just started dancing and the whole feeling in the room just changed. Braylon having a tracheostomy, it was very, very hard for our family. It's 24 hour care and it really limited the things that she could do as a child. It limited how much she could play. She couldn't swim, she couldn't have sleepovers with other children, just normal things that you want your child to do. Sometimes it's hard for her. Um, the other kids are talking to her and she talks in a whisper um, because she doesn't have use of her vocal cords, but she doesn't let it stop her. I mean, she just has absolutely no boundaries. She's just, she's adapted. She's very healthy. She can do a lot of things that she couldn't do a couple years ago. She's able to swim and go for sleepovers and just be a kid. I like to do horror with my grandma. I like to go out to Connie's and play. Go in the park with my friends. I like to play with my other friends in the neighborhood. The care here at the University of Iowa Children's Hospital has been nothing short of phenomenal. They not only care so much about your child, but the family too. We've spent so much time here her entire life that it's a lot of times felt like a second home. If any of my grandkids or anybody, anybody that I know that has children, this is the first place I recommend for them to come because I truly believe they saved her life.